Hello again. A Hunter ceiling fan and it has one of the older four wire switches inside and I was having difficulty locating a replacement switch as you can see the the chain is broken out of this switch so I I got looking at it and since I didn't have anything else to lose I decided to take the switch out of here and see if I could repair it you'll see here there's a wire nut this wire nut needs to come off and there's a black power wire right here and that needs to be cut and make sure you cut it far enough far enough away from the switch and, a, and in an area where you can get a new wire nut and you can there's enough room where you can strip the wire here you properly. see I've got the switch out and uh, laying on the kitchen table here's the capacitor uh, here's the upper portion of the switch and what I will call the lower portion of the switch and of course you see the chain is broken and quite frankly unless the capacitor has died the only thing that can really go wrong with this which is the chain breaking and I think that's the majority of the problems okay so what I discovered is there are two ears right here and if you take a screwdriver and carefully release them from this upper portion of the switch it'll separate and you can and work on this lower section here now the one thing I discovered and hopefully it'll save you problems as you uh, work to get this out, this upper portion, or I'm sorry, this cover right here out of this switch, uh, be careful because it's under spring tension. And if you just pop that out of there, you'll wind up with a, a bunch of pieces in your hand and you won't know how to put it back together. So keep your thumb on the top of this little silver section here, what looks like silver. Carefully pry that up so you'll be able to see how to put this thing back together. Again, here's that wire, the black wire that's caught, and the gray wire that I just removed the wire nut from. So there's another quick peek, and we'll go on. Okay, to the next here's slide. the switch uh, disassembled. Of course, here's the new chain that's been installed, and it really wasn't difficult to do this. Uh, like I say, you can save yourself a lot of trouble if you carefully remove this switch cover, so you can see how things are put back together. It took me probably 10 or 15 minutes to figure out how to get these spring ears back in the right position but other than that it was pretty straightforward and the position of this th this device right here as you you pull on a chain rotates and goes into the different positions you know um, high speed mid-range low speed and then off it, it makes no difference where this goes back in because it just rotates around and around as you pull the chain uh, there are a couple clip there's a clip right here that the chain fits into and you'll just need to carefully separate that uh, clip a little bit so you can get the old chain off and the new chain back in and more, more than likely the old chain will have broken right about here okay that's where it was broken on this one here other than that you just reassemble this back in here and you'll have to hold it together a little bit with your fingers and then put the cover back on it uh, there's only one way it can go in. Pretty straightforward. Save you the aggravation and uh, problems of trying to find this. I hope this, this is helped you and have a nice day.